Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? This is for the Scorpios. It is the month of December and I have a lot of products. You can skip through this. I do what I love and I will keep selling. Look at this! <laughs> okay, camera two, look at that. The custom, okay. Manifestation, I'm just excited. Look at that. I'm wearing one. So you pick the crystals that you're gonna put. Look at that in the camera, okay? So um, the reason why I'm excited about this is because like you can choose from pink open. Um, this one is amethyst clear quartz um, there's turquoise I believe also there's garnet stay away from garnet though you Scorpio stay away from garnet okay you okay. stay away from garnet also Gemini don't use garnet so um, so you, you can combine uh, I believe three or four and then this pouch you can also custom with your initial hello wonderful gift for you or for the people that you love if you love someone <laughs> Okay, not yet done. Okay, I told you you can skip this. Mm. So, um, hello, Venus box. Yes, okay. Now, I need you to, when you get this, okay, so this is the special edition for Venus. This, uh, the transit of Venus is going to go retrograde about quality of our, the relationship that we have in our life. I would need your size for your ring. <laughs> it comes with the ring. Look at that. We're having a little five carat moment. Mm -hmm. So size of the ring. I need that when you order this. And at the same time, it's going to be in the, in the description when you go to the box. And then I need both of your initial, first name, last name, monogram. Um, hello <laughs> custom of course okay so ready for the reading mm. any haters lovers you're welcome stay okay <laughs> we'll have a good tea here okay mm. Mm. i'm not selling the coffee though the sweater yes here we go <laughs> saucy okay there you go okay so let's see what's going on for december mm -hmm. So I love to sell. That's what I do. And I love it. So people, find what you love, okay? You love that person, right? Mm. Do they love you back? This product loves me back. Mm. They stay here. Exactly. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> they stay where I say. Oh, you stayed there. Page of Wands. Who are we talking to, Scorpio? Who are we talking to for the month of December? You like someone. A bit flirtatious. A bit flirtatious, Scorpio. Desire is here. I haven't seen the planets for you, but you like someone, you desire them. Why? Prince of Pentacles. Because they communicated after they broke your heart. Three of Swords and the Prince of Wands. Okay. So, Three of Swords, look at that. Mm -hmm. They left you. They talked to you. Now you're opening the gates again, Princess of Wands. So, we haven't learned, have we? I think we deserve a quality relationship with the Venus box. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, Sal. Exactly. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? Three of Swords right here. Now, I see it also, Scorpio, that this, the person that you're dealing with, um, they feel that when they betrayed you and you betrayed them, however has happened, whatever has happened, um, they want to say that they're sorry for doing this to you. Okay, so there is a little bit of remorse. There's a feeling of like, maybe I can work it out. You know, the Princess of Pentacles is something probably that you've waited for. You wanted them to say that they're sorry. You want them to say that they're, um, how to say this, that they desire you also. So you feel the connection, you feel the attraction, but you forgot the betrayal, have you? Mm. Okay, okay, not my life. Okay, so you forgot the betrayal. Okay, let me see. You got the King of Cups, so this is definitely on point. That's your card, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So lately you've been thinking about yourself, like how you have transformed, and you're in a good place in life. Let's be honest. You can get anybody you want with the King of Cups because you're emotionally invested. Mm -hmm. However, the people that you get are emotionally infested. Sorry about this call, guys. Okay. From emotionally invested to emotionally infested. Yeah, that's a Three of Swords. Mm-hmm. I saw this, uh, I think, um, post online 
I don't know who posted that. And then it says that a bee will never waste its time to tell a fly how sweet honey is. <laughs> and the fly will never know. What's the difference between trash and honey? Because the bee will never waste the time. So here you're thinking about like, oh wow, life is good. But should you waste your time with this person? Nine of Pentacles, you've been good. You've been good. You've been single. You've been successful. You've been healthy. And then since someone here is opening up a channel with you, this is what we call a disturbance in your progress. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, now here it is. Okay. I feel like this person now feels like you guys belong together. We're having a Mariah moment. We belong together. Mm -hmm. My album is not yet out. Photo album. <laughs> so with the Queen of Cups here, they desire you, they love you, but have you forgotten what they have done to you? King of Cups, dear Lord, my, 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 Sharona. Okay. So the two of you really, really, I told you, it's like they love you, you love them, this is what they found out. Um, it hurt them more than than they hurt you. I feel like you've gotten over this already because you're nine of pentacles, you're in a good place. So they didn't recover from the separation. They were not able to, I'm sorry for also for the phone ringing. Oh, I forgot that. I don't know why they're calling me. Mm -hmm. With the three of swords, it shows here that they cannot forgive themselves for doing this. So there's a part of them that they have a feeling of missing out. It's just like, man, I missed out on a good on a good thing that you guys have. Because, you know, clearly you guys are a pair. King and Queen of Cups. All right. People are wondering which is the, the tarot I'm using. Available also at my store, of course. The number one metaphysical place. Mm -hmm. The only place that you could be shopping. Let's see. I'm very generous to the Scorpio, so let's give it all. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. You've been saving money, which is good. Strength card, you're able to resist anybody coming back for you. Strength and Six of Cups. But this situation has been coming back and forth this whole year. I feel like two years also has been, has been this is the whole situation. Eight of Wands, they're coming to see you. Now, they don't know what to offer to you, but they're willing with the full card to give it all. Mm -hmm. Like, they're willing. Look at that. Because they see now that you're the love that they have always, always connected to. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even see that here. But here, right now, with considering that you are the sun, and you're now... I feel like this is the final countdown whether you want to deal with your karmic or forget about your person. Meaning, this is when you really say no. No matter how much we think that we are meant to be king and queen of cups, you will finally say it's like I feel like you're just confused you just don't know what you want you just don't know what you're feeling right now not you them because they're they're feeling that they need to connect with you because they're in pain mm -hmm. so the connection right now is that they want the same boat as you are because you're healed now right you're in a good place you have the sun over there you have the strength card you're able to change your life by keeping yourself reserved four of pentacles right and then here with the Sun card and King of Cups, you're winning right now. But being single, yes. You're winning, being single, you're good. There's no issue, there's no drama. Now, they got drama, Three of Swords. Um, they got communication. They want to fly, they want to drive, they want to see you. For them, it's not over, Two of Pentacles. So for them, they still see you as the person, the one that got away. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let me see. I feel like you really deserve this box just saying <laughs> nine of wands okay the tower so they're shook it about the situation scorpio they really do not understand what's going on in their life now they have their own karma with the nine of wands and the tower they have their own thing going on and this is causing them, I need to be with the Scorpio. The Scorpio can help me because you're strong now. They see that you have transformed King of Cups. So they need someone. So this is your, basically, you're the masculine energy in this connection. And they're the feminine. And they want to say that they're sorry for everything that they have done. My question again, have you forgotten what the Three of Swords is? What they have put you into? Because before, you were in the tower. Now they're in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That didn't go as clear as anything in any, any reading. This is as clear as we can get, guys. It's so clear. Someone wants you back. Plain and simple. 
peanut butter and jelly, okay? You don't even need a reader for that. The reason why they're connecting is just life has been difficult. The tower, right? Mm. Tower is there. I feel like I've never done a messy spread, so I feel like your life is going to get messy if you do come back to this person. Strength card, again, can be a Leo, can be an Aries, yeah. we got Sun over there, can be a Scorpio also, can be a Pisces, can be a Sag right here. Mm -hmm. So now, this is the Empress, how much do you love this person? That's Venus right there. Mm -hmm. Are you that kind of person it's like, no, I'm willing to die for this love? You know yourself, Scorpio. You do that for any person that you love. But you do the opposite once you hate them. You bring down the tower to them. You can love them so much or I'm going to destroy you so much also. There is no in between here. So now your choice here. Are you going to break their heart? Basically putting this as like, no, this is done. I'm done with you. Or you're going to be on the other side and you're going to say, it's just like, it's okay. I'm here for you. You know, the only thing that I'm here for is the box. Okay. <laughs> These are so serious. Okay. So anyhow, I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. You have booking for personal reading. You have, January is open time now. You can get a one-on-one -on -one Zoom um, uh, for your chart though, for your chart. Okay. So you can check it out also on our website. And at the same time, of course, this is limited. Okay. When I say limited, like you saw the solar boxes, it just went out the, the window. So this one, either you get it and then sayonara. Okay. Because I need the size of the ring. You got you to gotta know your size because it comes with a ring that is faceted. Gorgeous, gorgeous. When I make something, it is going to be premiere, okay? So do check it out. Now, this is this is your manifestation kit for this uh, coming Venus. Um, Venus is going to go retrograde in, uh, in Capricorn-ish. And then January, it's going to go to your second house. So it's going to come in through your third and second. So it's going to go there, which is for you, second house is money, savings, finances, and of course, people around you. That's why I said it's a quality of relationship. And of course, third house is creativity. When a planet goes retrograde, it's really about the planet is nearer in our near earth farther than sun the sun okay so when the planet is near us the karma is stronger and i love to work on retrograde because retrograde i know the energy is there it's available for us and then it gives you the learn you know what you need to learn and what you can manifest with it does it make sense mercury retrograde is amazing it comes january 14 though december 18 we have a full moon i don't know which zodiac it is but i know this december 4 of course it, three or four depending if you're in california december 3 is the solar eclipse four if you are in a different hemisphere but that's happening also in your ascendant so you have all this okay all this planetary movement and we have have, of course, by March, Rahu and Ketu is going to be out of Scorpio and uh, Notorious. It's going to go to Sidereal Aries and Libra. All these things that are moving right now is for you to change, okay, your whole self, your whole life. And it starts with what I'm making. Thank you. I'll see you guys again. Bye.